Yep. All right, Cody, let's go save the world. Let's do it. <laughs> down in history that I kissed the moose. It's documented. Okay, I'm scared. He's gonna like bite me or something. See? So I just go up and do it. Oh! <laughs> I got it though, but I'll do it, I'll do it again. One more. Cool! So right now our, our tour guide is uh, putting these needles into the ground so like if we fall, this rope, this harness is gonna just stay uh, nailed to those needles so we won't die. <laughs> So what we're doing today is obviously we're gonna go up the windy road, but we're heading up to some other places that could be similar to this. And the goal is to ultimately hit this Viking village at the end. So uh, that, but that's for tomorrow. But we'll see what happens. This might be all one big amazing video. It's time to full send all the way to the top. Ugh. All the way don't, up. Don't crash, man. Nah, man, I'm a pro. <laughs> down when there was no one here now there's like huge tour buses coming down this is gonna be tough just pretend you're in uh that initial d uh japanese video game and you're drifting okay and i'm drifting <laughs> <laughs> all right we're getting out the car of course look at this Everyone looks like ants. It's intense, right? Yeah, this look, is awesome. This is like the road to Mortar. Look, they're walking up these paths. They're oh. about to drop the ring into the waterfall. I didn't even know you could hike right here. Because I have yet to see Iceland and other places, I haven't got to see like a black rock, uh, black rock mountain with waterfalls. So similar to Iceland, this is what I would see, but I haven't seen yet. So this is my first time experiencing or seeing stuff like this. And the best part is, I don't even have to hike for it. I mean, yeah, technically, it's an overhanging glass deck. Yeah, it looked like it. Yeah, we're gonna check that out. But we have this crazy idea. Up there, which ain't that far, has a bunch of snow and clouds. And we haven't, uh, well, actually, Cody got this crazy, like, wolf-looking jacket. <laughs> and we want to put it on and look like a Viking up there for the pictures. It's, it's, it's insane, but we might do it. Check this coat out. It's just crazy enough to that work. it could work. <laughs> yeah, check it out right here. Cody, try it on, man. So this company, they sent it to me because it's like, it's like this fake, fake Yeah, so fur. it's not real, yeah. But like, the reason they gave it to me is because it's uh, like when you buy them, they like donate stuff to like these uh, these wildlife things. Yeah, but, but it would be so cool. Yeah, and you just, we'll put the hood on in slow motion. Boom. Yeah, see? You guys will be visualizing exactly what we're visualizing, but that's if we can make it up there to do the shot. It's really cold up here, but we made it. Uh, maybe I should get my jacket. So all this water is going to go down. And that's where it drops right down there to the zigzaggy road. It sucks we couldn't see this view from right here, though. All the way over here. We got to get to this side. I was like, man, this view's not that great. Why build all this? It's over there. I love how the green and like the dark rock looks. It's just, a, it's like such a cool I know. color contrast. I'm telling you, it's like that, the, the black moodiness. And the white and the green. Dude, it's insane. It's great for pictures, it's good art for sure. Cut it out, cut the tape. Really push that rock, I would literally get get out of here with a one-way ticket quick. <laughs> Bro, we're almost there. A lot of people for once, we've been seeing people. We were up north so high, there was literally no tourists or nothing. And it's warmer here. It's warmer by actually 15 more Celsius. It's like 28 Celsius right now. Up north, it was like 15 Celsius, uh, 10 Celsius, 12 Celsius, and it was really cold. And it had that blue tint, dark moody look, which was perfect though. The road looks like a zigzaggy spaghetti noodle. It's crazy how we were down there, we came up it. I just gotta hold on to this, I'll be okay. <laughs> Jumping this? Oh man. Uh, I brought your parachute. <laughs> so Cody decided before we risk our lives, to hike all the way to the top for this picture, 
We're gonna fly the drone to see if there's a possible chance. We gotta do a little recon first to make sure <laughs> we don't die. Yeah, you gotta check the perimeter. <laughs> We're really in the Lord of the Rings now. We really are. I currently have the ring attached to the drone so I can fly over the lava and just drop <laughs> it in. If you watch the movies, this is what Frodo should have done. <laughs> Making sure we find some sort of like clear path, but I don't think we're gonna find it. We'll let you know in the next clip. Yeah, this is the next clip. I don't think we're doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we tried to fly the drone first. Yeah, luckily we have apples. The rain has now stopped, but we checked the GPS to see how far the actual Viking village was, and it was six hours and 30 minutes. So we miscalculated and we decided that, you know what? Let's just go all the way down there. So we're just gonna drive another 10 hour day in the end. It was 10 hours actually two days ago, then five hours and now another 10 hours. And this is the reality of the traveling experience, right? But tomorrow we got the full on Viking village. So we just gotta get to this Airbnb and then sleep. We are in the hotel and we are actually in the Viking Valley village right now. So pretty much we're gonna wake up and then we can see what's going on. I am like losing my mind because there's a lot going on right now. We, Cody's taking the same flight as me home. He was gonna go on like, he was gonna leave way later, but now he's going home with me, which is good. So I have company on the flight home. Also a lot's going on too, like at home, uh, my house that I lived in my whole life is getting sold, it's for sale. Cause uh, we, we, we live in an apartment. So um, yeah, my whole, all my memories is in that house, but that house is for sale now, so it's gonna get sold. So now I have to find a new place to live. Don't know where I wanna go. I can move to California. I could either stay here a bit more with my parents and just get in an apartment with all of us together. I don't know what I'm doing. So that's something I gotta think about. Also, um, the freaking bus, Exploring Crew bus, is gonna be at my house that same day. So I had to buy a flight for the guy who drove it to my house. And yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on, dude. So like, that all happened uh, within the car ride of me getting here. But I'm going to bed, and we're gonna literally wake up at the Viking Village right now. <laughs> <sighs> so, welcome to the good wagon Viking experience. You the got good wagon good Fjord experience. Cause it's so experience. good. It's so there you good. go. I'm trying to get it right, but that's, that's where we're at. The good wagon Fjord. Uh, Viking Valley and it's a it's by the way this is literally a valley we are between the valley the mountains waterfalls are just coming everywhere out of here it's actually really interesting Cody, Viking Cody, 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 Cody. Experience. We can buy an axe. We can. A Viking axe here. Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some raids later today. Yeah, we're getting some raids done. Now, Cody said that this is pretty much what you get when you turn 13, when you become an official Viking. Yeah, but like not anyone just who turns 13, but like if you're actually gonna be like a Viking, yeah. it's uh, it's to basically show that you are um, devoting yourself to the uh, not the king, but like the chief of the town. Yeah, basically. but guess what? We are devoting ourselves to be Viking, so we're gonna buy one. Yeah, it's a Viking arm ring. So exactly, this dope. is my first piece. The better understanding of what these arm rings for and why some of them are silver, some of them are bronze. And what did you say the reason was? Well, ba basically it's about value and they were used as payment. So they were payment rings. Okay. Often what the chieftain would do, he would give them to his uh, warriors and men as a way to show um, his appreciation of their allegiance. Right. And for them, it was a point to wear them too, because the more they were appreciated, the more they showed their promise in war. Right. So, so they had multiple. Well, well, if, if, if they could, could. Good, yeah. but there was also a form of payment. So they would actually chop them straight off their arms in order to pay for things. <laughs> so it was currency as well. So it was their wallets as well. Oh, yeah. wow. So they kept their riches on their arms, but it was both a sign of honor and pride and it was their wallet. So I wonder if anyone them. was ever like sleeping and someone slipping, up, slipping one of the rings off. Well, if you had 10 rings up your arms, I would stay away from a guy like that sleeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> sure, that means he's like a beast, like a warrior. We're learning something new every day when we travel. I'd rather be here doing it and experiencing it than in the textbooks. Got some bow and arrows. I've actually shot them, if you remember, at the last village we went to. 
the Viking Village Museum. <laughs> Been to a lot of medieval fairs, different renaissance fairs, but this one is so good just because we're actually in the environment that you would have seen back in the day in the real Vikings or the real, you know, wars that happened in the medieval times because we're literally like it's almost like Avatar with the waterfalls coming down everywhere in the valley and the sun shining. It just completes it. He literally sleeps there. Every second week. Every second week. Yeah. This is amazing. Do you blacksmith? Yeah. You do? But I'm roofing today. What was that? I'm roofing. Oh, you're roofing? Because um, we have a leak. You see? There's a crack in the board up there. Oh, I see. And the water runs down and collects a little pond. And the pond is up on the um, twig. There's a crack in the twig. And the <laughs> down on right the on you. face. Damn. Oh. That new Vikings legit were real like right now. Are that your shoes? Watch your shoes. Oh, watch There's them? The okay. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it looks like <laughs> no. I haven't quite finished it. <laughs> This is so now I have to go and get the keys from the Swiss cup. Oh. That is really cool. Yeah. So apparently there are seals inside this this water right now. They're searching for uh, salmon. So they're here right now. And this bridge is really cool too. And we're just chilling uh, next to her roof. <laughs> So this guy carves bones, like that's his job here in his uh, village. And um, so what, what bone was this from? That's uh, English cow bone. And it took him a week to do this and it's uh, 400 pounds. So like 550 maybe US dollars, but it's really cool. And there's still a bunch of other bones he has here. It's, he's, he's the bone collector. <laughs> but that's dice made of whale's tooth. Yeah. Which is that? But it's old whale's tooth. I didn't kill it, you know. Or jeez, died a long time ago. Put it. I never way. even held a whale's tooth. This is my first time. Yeah. Nice. Am I a Viking now or what? I like, how, I like how you have like the Japanese symbol on you. <laughs> like you're, uh, you're a very confused Viking. I'm the Japanese Viking. You don't know where you're supposed to be. <laughs> right now, Skyrim. Skyrim part two. Most, um, and also from the late Viking age. This is a compass. It's called a Norse compass or Vaivisid is the um, Norse name for it. it. It's a symbol they would use when they would travel to get them safely home. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And this is the older rune rows around it. They all have different sacred meanings. Like, um, Fe is uh, cattle and still the common name for cattle, mm -hmm. but cattle is wealth um, in the Viking Age. If you had cows or if you had livestock, that was wealth. Um, and it's also a reminder to take care of your wealth and the property you had. Pretty much where the video ends, explorers. We're sitting eating some traditional Viking food. And just literally vibing out here, watching how people are training and they're fighting. Think about the kids here, they're having a true summer. While not in school, they can say they've been living in a Viking village, training to fight with the Vikings. That's really cool. So, I'm ending it here because we are heading to Oslo. And it's gonna take about four and a half hours to get there. And yeah, tomorrow's video is pretty much, we're exploring Oslo and the next video is also a food or candy video. We're gonna do a collab, me and Cody on that. So we're gonna be eating our Nor Norwegian candy and Norwegian food. So guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Rise above, just get out to explore. Peace and thanks for watching.